I've got a really unique exercise for you, one that I think will be genuinely quite useful with improving your cold approaching as well as your social intelligence and social skills when you do go out to practice. And this is something that I don't think has been taught for a really long while and is also something that I think a lot of guys forget about when they become very desensitized to talking to strangers uh, on the street or just in any sort of environment. And that is that whenever you see someone that you're going to go and talk to, try and be more empathetic and sympathetic to the situation and try and understand where they're coming from when a complete stranger is coming up to them to start a conversation with them. So imagine, let's say you're You've just bought yourself a coffee, you're sitting out front of a coffee shop and you're having your drink on those like tables and chairs or whatever and someone comes up to you and they start a really random conversation. Now you are enjoying your own company or maybe you were just in autopilot, maybe you were just having a break, maybe you were thinking just how boring your dating life is and you wish someone would come along and sweep you off your feet and someone does come along and they start talking to you but they don't get to the point or purpose of why they are talking to you. You don't know if it's a homeless person who's trying to ask you for money. You don't know if it's a charity worker trying to get you to sign up to something. You have absolutely no idea, but you feel it in your gut that this person wants something from you, but they haven't yet admitted it. Now, interestingly, for me, when I put myself in that circumstance, I actually almost feel like that person's trying to be very manipulative, like that they are trying to almost butter me up to get to a point that I'll say like, oh, okay, yeah, here you go, here's here's money, or oh, okay, here you go, here's this and that, rather than actually just stating at the beginning why they're there, will actually would actually make me feel a lot more at ease and going like, oh right, well wow, they actually saw me, they liked my style, they they thought I was attractive. Yeah, absolutely. I'll give them the time of day. I'll, I'll, I'll hear them out at the very least to find out. Or if I was in a relationship, then at least I can go. Look, I'm, I'll, I'll stop you there. I'm, I'm actually very happily in a relationship, but I really do appreciate the fact that you've come over to, uh, to say something. That took guts. That took balls for you to do. Now, imagine where you've got a lot of guys who are very brand new to doing cold approaching. They have a lot of social anxiety anyway, and so the nerves are there. And they go in and they do that. They literally, they start talking to someone, but they don't make the statement of intention of why they're talking to them. And I would actually go as far to say that that lack of uh, justification for being there could actually be one of the reasons that can screw up your cold approach interaction and see you not getting the results because it kind of weirds the other person out that you haven't stated why you're there. Now, that's kind of one particular example. Another example would be the fact that if, let's say, you've approached someone in an environment or in a space that wouldn't really be normal... And you just go in kind of assuming like, like, yeah, this is absolutely totally fine. And instead what happens when you talk to the person, you totally weird them out because they're like, why are you talking to me here? This is really strange. I think just off the top of my head, a great example would be maybe in the cinema. So maybe you came into the cinema screening, you saw uh, a lady sitting down on her own and uh, let's say you went up and you sat next to her because you felt really confident in yourself and you went up, you sat next to her and you just started talking to her. She's going to look at you and go, why, why are you talking to me? Like, this is really weird. Why are you, why are you here? You're making me feel really uncomfortable. You're in my personal space and uh, I just want to be left alone. So what could be done really or said in this circumstance? Well, you have to really think about, well, what would you want to experience in that? If I was sitting somewhere quite happily and someone came over to me and just started talking to me in my personal space and in my proximity, then absolutely, I'm going to be more on the defensive. But what would I want someone to say to me to also just diffuse the situation? Calling out the elephant in the room. 
and you get that by thinking about again the circumstance how would i want how would i feel if someone came into my space you know what i'd want someone to literally call out and say look i get this is really weird to come up and talk to you um uh whilst the just before the movie is about to start or you know as you're sitting at the table waiting for your dinner to come i just had to say xyz or even getting straight to the point and being direct uh look i know this is really weird but i had to just say look i thought you looked really nice okay very simple example i can actually give you a story where for me personally this is what i've done uh, i once did in the past where I was down Oxford Street. I'm sure it was Oxford Street. And I was um, filming with, with a client and I'd walk past Ann Summers. And was it Ann Summers? No, it was a, it, but it was a lingerie shop. I, well, I won't keep jumping in it, but it was a lingerie shop. And there was a woman working at the desk and I just thought she looked absolutely stunning. And obviously go, a guy going into a lingerie shop is a bit unheard of. It's one thing, you know, if you've got a girlfriend and she's going to go and buy something special, maybe for because it's your birthday, you know, and and uh, uh, or maybe because she wants to feel good, then usually that's the reason why a guy would go into a lingerie shop. Very rarely do you get a guy go to buy lingerie for a woman. Um, but um, I, after I'd finished doing my filming session, I made it a mission that I wanted to go and just say something to her and just find out more about her and if she was single so i went back to the lingerie shop it was one of those obviously situations that you can't go in and just hesitate if you go in you have to be committed to doing the approach because it's otherwise it's going to look very odd if you walk into a lingerie shop and then go oh this isn't the shop that i was meant to be in oh let me just leave or you walk into the shop and pretend to look at like the lingerie to try and you know, like build up the courage. It's like, no, you go in, you have to do it. And I went in the shop, I went up to the counter and I had literally said something like that. Um, uh, just as I went in and said like, look, excuse me, I'd been filming with a client on the street and it just so happened that I'd been past this shop uh, a couple of times. And I got to say, you look, absolutely gorgeous i don't know if it's like a typical thing for lingerie shops to have such attractive women you know serving customers but i knew i'd regret not saying something you know if i didn't come back but rather than embarrassing myself and at this point she's smiling she's all giggly and she was saying thank you and i i got straight to the point with her and i said look i i don't want to uh disturb you whilst you're at work you know i um, I don't like sort of uh, annoying people in their their workspaces, but I've got to ask: Are you single? And she said yes, and and I said oh, I'd love to. Can I can I take your number and maybe take you out on a date sometime? Don't worry, we can have a, a bit of a chat over WhatsApp beforehand, so you know that I'm not an absolute crazy person because I clearly made that impression with you know walking into a lingerie shop you know and again she was giggling and I got the number and and that was that so calling out the elephant in the room and especially you know being very empathetic and sympathetic to the experience and understanding about another person's social space proximity and also what their situation might currently be is just going to work wonders for you with your approaching because at least if you're going in with an idea of like you know you you, that you don't know what her situation is and you're very understanding of whatever that might be she's going to appreciate that and at the very least she'll give you the time of day to uh to to hear you out you know again calling out the elephant in the room or just making it very clear what your intentions are very early on can at least make her feel more comfortable and make her feel more safe with wanting to have a conversation with you and of course even if she says no I'm not interested then you can wish her all the best if she's got a boyfriend say that he's a lucky guy or whatever but then you can just go off and know that you have done the best that you could you were very understanding and in fact it's safe to say if you can do that 
that doesn't put you in this creep category that guys sometimes feel like they go in when they go and do an approach. It's about being very understanding of people and um, developing that social intelligence. And that is just something that you can do. So I'd love to hear how this works for you. If you can, leave a comment below. And I'd love to hear maybe your stories of where you were maybe perhaps very empathetic and sympathetic. Maybe you called out the elephant in the room or you got straight to the point and stated your intention or justified your reason with wanting to talk to the women that you spoke to. Because, yeah, again, it's just wonders. But I'd love to hear your stories just so then at least it helps other guys understand what maybe they're doing right and what they're doing wrong. And if you can, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Every little bit helps me to grow my channel and certainly reach more guys to help them with their social anxiety issues and their confidence problems. And if you are someone who is perhaps maybe struggling with their social anxiety, maybe you really want to get into cold approaching, but you just don't know where to begin, then definitely check out my services on my website. I think my dating desensitization therapy is probably going to be the one for you. But the best thing to do is for us to actually have a chat where I offer my complimentary client assessment and I can gauge exactly where you're at and hopefully even point you in the right direction in where you need to go to to get better with your cold approaching skills. So enough of that from me. I'm uh, Dan, that dating anxiety guy. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned to another video coming out from me.